Well, Harold, congratulations. Uh, this is uh, the end of uh, what's been a terrific journey. Jason, that has been. It's a tremendous time for, for racing, I'd have to say, and racing people because uh, they've set a mark uh, for Australia and for the rest of the world, and I'm just so pleased to do it. It's a, a journey that has been nearly eight years, a bit longer than most things I take, I'd have to say, uh, but, uh, but it's, it's, been, uh, it's been a happy one at the end. There were some tough times along the way, and a group of people, including myself, I'd have to say, refused to give up because at the end of it, it would be an incredible result for racing, and that's what it is. The underlining principle was that, that the racing industry should control its own media rights, which makes perfect sense in, in light of what uh, the AFL were able to achieve with their media rights. All of the, all of the uh, sporting authorities and the AFL is the one we look at because it is so successful, so good, so big business, uh, is trying to establish a, uh, a, a television network of their own, and they will. Uh, the next round will undoubtedly be that, and that's where it's all headed. The racing people, they got onto that a while ago. It wasn't easy to bring all of the forces together, I can tell you that, but this is historic uh, for what's happened for racing, and that's a good thing. But at certain times, we had to pull together the interests uh, of racing, and they're, they're diverse. And that's understandable because over a long period of time, racing people have to be highly competitive. They have to compete at the track uh, for just everything about their performance and how to run, and they become very individual individuals, I can tell you that. Uh, the job that I had to do, along with others, was to bring all of those interests together. It wasn't easy. There were times, I think, when uh, they would prefer this didn't happen. But as they look at it now, they know that this was absolutely the right thing to do and uh, it's an incredible moment. I think probably three times along the way that I can think of, it, it nearly didn't happen. But I refused to give up because I knew it was, it was right along the way and there were people there with me. Uh, I can remember uh, I had to bring together the, the forces of all of the uh, metropolitan clubs and mostly I had them lined up and then one would drop out. But it was the help of a lot of the clubs who talked to each other, I might say, to have it happen. The other thing I should say is this, which is very important. Uh, racing in Australia uh, is moving to bring so many things together so that it is, it is so common and so big. And that's necessary because the competition is not other states, not other clubs, but it's everything else in the rest of the world. You can turn on a screen now and you can watch anything. And so we have to be able to bring it all together. The racing authorities in so many ways, whether, it, whether it's wagering, things to do with performance, everything to do with the industry, have to talk on common ground. What this has proved is that they can do it. This is one of the biggest things uh, that has to happen, and they did it there. Everything else ought to follow, and they can look to TVN and say, we did that. And I was happy to be at, at the beginning of that. I'd have to say, along the way, there were a couple of things uh, where I had my moments, and one in particular, I needed to underwrite the fact that this was a business which would be worth a lot of money one day. And in fact, uh, it is now. I put an estimate of $400 million. I might be wrong, it might be 380 but it's a lot of money. Eight years ago, it was naught. And so that's what we put into it. The racing clubs have invested just $4 million, $4 million in cash to start this business up. You try your superannuation fund to get that to happen. Uh, they've been paid back $140 million, and they've now got an asset with an awful lot of money. That's a great thing to do. I needed to make the point that this was something worthwhile. I reached out, I made a call to, to James Packer uh, at one point, and I said, James, this is worth it. Now, you look at the history of it, it was uh, James's father, Kerry Packer, who was so important in Behind Sky. He knew it. He knew what this was all about a long time ago, and, uh, and, and Sky was a great asset because of that. Now it might be that they've missed the boat uh, in what they are, but uh, I, I said to James, uh, I want you to consider buying a quarter of TBN. He said, I'll do it. Uh, and it was an offer of $25 million, which suddenly uh, made a value to TBN of $100 million some years ago. And uh, that, everyone looked at that and thought, well, Packer must know what he's doing, and he did and he knew what it was. I'm yet to make the phone call to him to say that it's now worth that and you could have uh, quadrupled your money. Uh, but he's fine because he understands racing. At one point, I had him address uh, all of the chairmen. I remember one night in Sydney, he'd, uh, he'd not been to bed for two nights. He'd flown back from America. It was the very early days. His uh, Kerry had just uh, passed away. Uh, and uh, he addressed the race clubs to show how important it was and how much behind it was. Uh, as I said, he hadn't had any sleep for two nights and he walked in. He was magnificent. He he told the history uh, of his grandfather at racehorses, of the uh, time that they had in every way uh, in, being important behind it all. He even made a commitment. The one commitment I don't think he's ever carried through to buy a racehorse. Maybe he will. Uh, the reaction of, of Sky and also major wagering partner in Tabcor with this announcement? 
I think it's going to be a difficult time for them. Uh, they'll be stakeholders, they're important, uh, they have a major role to play uh, and we support them and everything like that. But the fact is that, uh, that the pictures belong to the, the owners of the pictures and that's the race clubs and the people that are involved in it. They can't and shouldn't belong to anyone else. I offered them that we could come together. On three occasions I did that. On two occasions uh, I thought I was with an interest. I had one agreement uh, with one of the former chief executives uh, to do a deal. and. Uh, they didn't proceed. I was very disappointed. In all the businesses I deal with, if you give your word on something, it, it happens. And, and on one occasion, they just walked away from it. I was very disappointed in that. And I think their shareholders uh, should equally be disappointed. They've had their chance. They've had their chance. And we'll work with them in every way that we need to be. They had their chance, uh, but not anymore. I can imagine Victorian and, and New South Wales Racing's now got a perfect platform to launch really strongly into the next frontier in Asia. There's a number of things. Asia is absolutely critical. Asia, as we know, will be 50% of the world's economy. Uh, this is the Asian century. We're right in the centre of it, and it's so important and so big. And you make a very good point about the power of what that is. And the new digital world means that we can get the pictures there, we get the pictures back from there, and uh, Australia is becoming a key part of everything like that. We're an incredible economy. We're going back to where we were at the beginning of the 20th century, one of the great economies uh, for our size in the world, and in, in the century that belongs to us. Uh, it's an incredible time. They're very exciting across so many things that we can do. Uh, uh, I'll probably leave it at some point, I'd have to say. I've done my bit. I think if you build something up, if you get it right and you leave it for the next lot to do it, you should let them do it. And, and that I'll do at some point, but not until I see every signature in every place that knows that this is all there. I've got all the signatures now. I've got it right. And the racing people are feeling absolutely right and appropriate and good about themselves. Uh, and at that point, then uh, I'll leave it to others. You, you'll sit back and uh, look back uh, with, with fondness, no doubt, the journey of these eight years as you hand over the keys in many ways yeah. now to the racing industry. Yes, I, I'll do that. I'll do that happily. There's a couple of other things that I'll use the TVN to, to announce and to launch. Uh, and uh, it's one around the fact that uh, the public jobs that I do, I've, I've, done, I've been very uh, successful in business separately in the business I know. And the public jobs I do, I think that you should do them and quite, uh, uh, quite often you should do them as uh, in the public spirit of it all. Uh, I've had small board fees over seven or eight years uh, from uh, TVN. No, no big deal. I mean, uh, I pay my own way. If I travel anywhere, I do that. Uh, I, I do all of those things. But I was thinking a little while ago, I think I'll put all those board fees together. There's some announcement I want to make of how I can put that back into the industry, and I think there are more things we can do uh, along a period of time. And I think that's the spirit of, of racing people, and uh, I'll use TVN at some point to do that because I think that we can all help. I, I think particularly uh, of stories that I've seen on TVN about the jockeys. You know, we forget a lot of the people out there, and I saw that young girl that fell, the 32-year-old mum. Yeah, Louise Cooper. And I was thinking, I wonder if racing is doing enough. I wonder if somewhere in amongst there we shouldn't establish a major, a major trust fund to, to give help. And if I can do one more thing uh, along the way with all of that, that I'll do. But after that, I'll just become a, uh, the occasional uh, regular at the stall races where I started with all of this. 2002, when, when you were involved all the way through now to 2012, where one horse, Black Caviar, is going over to take over the world and the owners of that horse said, you know what, I want TVN to manage our media rights. Isn't that incredible that this, uh, this, is, a, this is Australia all over that started with Farlap, uh, uh, where in the, in, in the, in, right in the depression. Uh, where we had to hang on to something, we did that. And right now when we've got signs of, of greatness again, it's back to a thoroughbred horse. And I understand there are, is it 4,000 people that are, that are travelling to, to watch that? 4,000 people from Australia to go and watch that. And that just shows what thoroughbred uh, industry is all about. It also shows why we need to take care uh, to deal with it so well, that it, it is all of the people at every place, in every nook and cranny in Australia uh, that we've done this job for. And I've been delighted and happy to be that journey. But, uh, but after that, it's over to others.